Well, Micah, you know, you, you and I started talking about a, a, a crazy thing that's happening in California. So the state of California has got this, um, you know, the state controller's office has this program called the Financial Information System for California. They call it fiscal, which is basically an accounting program that is supposed to integrate the state's accounting, budgeting, cash management, and procurement operations. But the uh, state auditor just released a report indicating that for the last 18 years, they've been working on this. It's cost a billion dollars and it's still not completed yet. There's still more delays happening this summer. And, you know, I was looking at this thing and I'm like, 18 years, you got Silicon Valley that's 120 miles away. You've got with some of the best minds out there, and yet we can't seem to get this a computer system done. You know, I would, and the, the thing that floored me is like the Golden Gate Bridge was built in four years. Mm-hmm. You got when JFK did his speech, his moon speech, mm-hmm. seven years later. Aldrin and um, Armstrong, Armstrong landed on the moon, mm-hmm. but yet we can't get this computer system. You know, it's, it's our show is about common sense, and common sense would certainly say, after the first eight years, after the first four years, even after the first two years, if you haven't got it up and running, you know, start from scratch, come up with a new system. Um, you know, the fact that that eighteen years to to Put this in place you know it's just incredible that it, it's but it does show what happens when you're playing with other people's money um, it really does it's one of those things about government is that you know people that are, are working on these things they don't want it to end because that's their meal ticket that's their project you know if they, if that goes away they've got to do something else and this thing's been pretty good and what's amazing is that not that it's it's taken this long, but it's the fact that it's allowed to go this long by the people who are in charge. And you know, you mentioned John Kennedy and President Kennedy and, and uh, the space program. I mean, when he said what he said, you know, people had no idea how to do that. I mean, they didn't have a clue. You know, how do you how do you build something that's going to you know withstand you know put put people in space for x number of days how are you going to leave the orbit how are you going to get them safely back into the orbit how are you going to chart a way to the moon you know how are you going to get them down on the moon how are you going to get them back i mean you know none of that was in place and and yet somehow you know back in the 1960s which you know was supposed to be dinosaur years compared to the way people think these days you know they were able to do it and to and to do it successfully and you would think that in 2022 it w- you would be able to take or create a system like you said with some of the best and brightest minds around and put that together in less than 18 years and certainly at less than a cost and you know again what what it goes to is accountability i mean you know can you think of any place where you know either in private or public sector where you said well we've been doing this thing for 18 years we haven't got it right yet we keep pouring money at it so let's keep doing that and and no one in the chain of command says time out this is a waste of taxpayer dollars this isn't working the goal may be good you know but i would think in over the last 18 years all of the systems that create those different components you mentioned have changed we allow that to happen and, and, you know, and I don't know why the people in charge there at that office, you know, just don't put their foot down and say, this is it, we're done. Well, and, and uh, one, of the, uh, one of the tweets that, that I saw was in this tweet that prompted this whole thing was from Lon He Chan, who's running for state controller. Mm-hmm. It's, an op- it's, it's the computer system in the state controller's office. And, you know, he's looking to run as an individual who is kind of a watchdog, but more more importantly, a kind of an advocate for taxpayers. And I can't think of, a, a, at least from the thing I've seen, aside from the EDD and some of its problems that it's having, is another issue. I mean, they've, they've, there's got to be scores of these type, type of computer problems that aren't getting resolved. I mean, 18 years and a billion dollars to put a computer system together. I mean, I don't think it took that long for, I mean, call Bill Gates, call Meg Whitman, call Elon Musk or, or Bezos. How about, how, you know? how about this? Go, go to... Go to one of the science and technology schools or, 
you know, one of the classes in, in some high school someplace that has these, you know, these amazing, you know, smart kids that are teenagers that are able to do this stuff and put them in charge of it. Give them a month and you know what? I bet you a box of Dunkin' Donuts that they'd be able to figure it out. You know, there are a lot of smart people out there. And, and But what it really says is, hey, it's not our money. You know, we don't have to worry about it. We don't have to answer to anybody about the accountability of it. And the boss who runs, you know, the person that's in charge of that, of, of that office is ultimately responsible because they're the ones that say, this is okay. It's okay to take another X number of years at X billions of dollars. It's okay to do that. You know, Lonnie Chen is a good man. He's got a, he's, that's a, a, a good issue he's got there because it's an incredible waste of taxpayer dollars. Well, and the sad thing is, and I think you are you are correct in this, is aside from the state auditor who brings up these problems, you know, because that's their job and and makes recommendations, is you you have no one else beating the drum on this on this particular thing. Right. And how many other computer systems that are maybe maybe aren't as high as a billion dollars or eighteen years, but are maybe seven years or six years or five years over budget or over time and over budget. Because when you add all that stuff together, look at the EDD. You got twenty, thirty billion dollars in fraud that were given to you, you know, people who fraudsters not just in California, across the nation, around the world. But someone's going to have to pay back that money, right. and the people who have to pay back this money, and this is a sad truth of it, is is the small business owners, and they're going to, you know, their unemployment, their unemployment insurance will go up. They've got to, they've got to pay back this money in a little, little at a time, but. You know, they, they didn't create this fraud. Is this this idea that it's government fraud or this government waste? No one's looking at for the best interest of the taxpayer. And at the end of the day, we all end up losing because it is our money. You got gas prices that gas buddies already indicated will go up to six dollars a gallon in the summer. You've got, you know, inflation kicking in. You've got, you know, all these high prices of things. You've got a, a supply chain that isn't working well here in California. You've got the state government who has now empowered local municipalities and county governments to go out and find people for wasting water at $500 a pop. And so all this has a tremendous impact. And it's, once again, it is our money, it is our tax money, our fees that go into this government. And it just seems as though no one cares. And I think I think you, you got it right. It's because it's other people's money. And mm -hmm. for these government officials, they can, you know, they can care less. I mean, right. This wouldn't happen in the private sector. I can't imagine a business that would that would allow for this to happen, and I can't imagine for, as you said, you know, other other states or governments to allow this to happen. Yeah, there there are some places, you know, some of the states again, as I've said before, blue and red, um, you know, because it's not a political issue; uh, it's an accountability issue, and they, you know, they wouldn't allow that this kind of thing. They wouldn't want to have to explain to the taxpayers. You know, what I find interesting, and you brought up a good point, the Auditor General brought it up. And why doesn't the media bring it up? Why isn't the media asking questions about this? Why aren't they going to the person in charge of that office and asking questions? Why aren't they going to the governor and saying, you know, how come you have a system that's been being built for 18 years while the technology is changing and you spent this much money and you can't get it right? And if you're allowing that to happen, what other things are you allowing to happen? And, you know, why can't you get, you know, if you can't get something, and I don't want to say it's small, but again, you, you know, if you have people that know what they're doing, it's probably not a huge challenge. And if you can't get this right, how the hell are you going to get right the idea of, you know, watersheds and saliniz desalinization and other major projects? If you can't get something as, as simple, you know, it takes you 18 years and a billion dollars and you still can't get get right a computer system. It, it, it really is the kind of thing you, I just wonder why you don't read about it, why it's not on the front page of the LA Times or the San Francisco newspaper or the Sacramento Bee, because it should be. It really should be. I mean, that's an incredible amount of waste of taxpayers' dollars and an incredible lack of accountability of getting a job done. Or, or follow up. You're right. Or to the governor or someone else um, to find out why it, why it's happening. And uh, that's just it's just an absurdity. Um, but we will we will uh, keep you informed as we get more information on this uh, just absurd project that is going on right now in California. Well, it's it is pretty crazy. I tell you. I mean, that's a <laughs> I 
And you wonder if they didn't take some people that were building the train to nowhere and put it in the computer to nowhere. Maybe the computer to nowhere is running the train to nowhere. Who knows? But we're getting nowhere fast and it'll cost us a lot of money. That's the bottom line. Well, Mike, great talking to you. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep, keep everyone informed on this, on this crazy project that's happening in California. Thanks, Hector.